welcome to another episode of Ben Cooks here on the channel. Uh, today we're cooking on the Blackstone inside today because uh, it's raining right now. So today we're cooking smash burgers. So let's get into it. All right. So let's go. We're gonna start on the bacon here. All right. So you want your get your heat gun and you want it to be around 300 degrees for your bacon. Here. Lay it on. And all right. Okay. You want it to be about two minutes per side here. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my bacon press and keep that there. Uh yeah. So I'll get to that to you when I flip it. Here we're flipping it. Flipping it up. Uh, they're starting to fold, so I'm going to throw my bacon press back on there. And now, let's get into the buns. Okay, guys. So, everybody likes to use butter for their buns. But I figured out that the best way is mayonnaise. Because when you toast your buns with mayonnaise, it gives them a better taste and they toast way better. So, put the mayonnaise and buns up. Now let's get back to this bacon. Yeah. Okay. It's looking really nice. You don't want it too crispy here. You want it to a point where you can put it on the burger and it tastes good. Okay. Let's move this over to the side. That over there. And get onto these buns. Now, you do not need to oil anything here because here we have all this bacon grease, this nice, nice bacon grease here. Uh, and that, that, that is our oil for the whole cook. We're gonna fry our burgers in it because it gives us this nice bacony taste to it. So, let's go put on these mayonnaise buns here. Over there in the corner. And the smash burger is going to cook super duper quick. So we're going to use, for our smash burger, we're going to use Montreal steak seasoning and pepper jack cheese. And that's pretty much it with the bacon. And uh, let's get into the burger. See when we get into it. All right. These buns are looking done here. So, those buns are done. And spray out this bacon grease here. Flip out that bacon. And let's get ready for the smash. Smash burger. So, what we want to do here is season the grill first with our Montreal. And by the way, you want your grill to be, or griddle, 
to be uh, at around 500 degrees for these. 450 to 500 before we check mine in. I'm looking good. I'm at, I'm at 350, 470, sort of. So, uh, let's throw in our seasoning. Throw in our seasoning here. And get our burger. Down. And we're going to smash it. Now these are going to cook for two minutes per side. Ooh. This grill gets hot, doesn't it? Alright. Looking good. Alright. Now we are going to season this other side of the burger, of the patty. Let's check out how this is doing. Oh yeah! That's looking good there, ain't it? Uh, so, you leave this for another two minutes, and then you get back to it. After two minutes, it should have a perfect crust, and then we'll start doing the back. Okay. All right, about now, we're going to throw on our cheese here. I got some pepper jack cheese, and that's on there, so I'm going to throw on my lid. Let this sit for around 10, 20 seconds, then the cheese will be melted. Oh, nice. And they'll be gooey. Okay, so, how's it looking? Alright, so we've got about 10 more seconds here, I think. Alright. This burger is not completely done on the other side yet, so it'll be around another minute probably. Then it'll be completely done on that side. Alright. This is a fast cook here. Uh, smash burgers go really fast. The slowest thing really is the bacon. Okay, so. I don't think it's quite done yet. Uh, these are perfect first thing for when you get a Blackstone. Really, really good. This is my first cook on the Blackstone uh, Smash Burger. Really, it needs to be done on the Blackstone. You can't really do it on the grill. Alright. So, and take this over to the table and uh, prep it up. We're going to throw on our bacon here. Then squish it down. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, get a shot of that burger there. Alright, so let's try it. Got the burger here. Uh, let's go. Nothing <laughs> much other than you. Mm. 
that bacon grease, cooking it in that bacon grease is so good. It made it very bacony flavor. Really, really good. Uh, this is definitely you need to try if you have a Blackstone. It's the best thing you can cook on the Blackstone. Uh, yeah, so because it's football Sunday, I'm going to go watch some football games. And uh, hope you had a great time watching this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment already if you haven't already. Uh, if you didn't notice, I had way better camera quality here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make this if you haven't already. It's the best thing you ever have. Okay. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.